Hi guys, it's Ginny Belly. Super quick tutorial today. I'm going to be making some homemade art glass for um, some Christmas decorations, so I just thought I'd do a tutorial as I do it. If you don't know what art glass is, it is um, like this um, stuff that has shards of glass and little mirrors and things, reflective things basically in there. Um, so I'm going to be making some of that because this isn't big enough. And you can make it out of some recycled materials. So first what you'll need is some packaging like this plastic packaging or um, a plastic bottle or something like that would work and this is going to take the place of the actual glass. So grab a pot and I found the best way um, to get it, you need it really really small and the best way to get it really really small straight away is to do lines like this And I do small pieces like this together so that I can hold the end like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Hold the end like that so all the little edges are flush. Because what happens as soon as you start cutting this is it decides it wants to go everywhere. So you have to keep a hold of it and aim it directly into your bottle. And you cut in tiny, tiny pieces tiny pieces as you can see they're still going on the mat so you're cutting them teeny 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 tiny come on focus you want to cut them teeny tiny like that okay so that's the clear glass sorted and you can make any colour art glass that you absolutely like but I would recommend putting in a few of these clear pieces just to give it that glass look then what I do next is to get the mirror look is I paint some of the plastic with just silver acrylic and I do the same thing again. So I also colour a piece the colour that I want to have the art glass colour and I want it kind of like a cross, frosty kind of Christmas looking so I'm going to just include a few of these pieces and to be honest this is just kind of a funky kind of art glass to use on its own but I'm going to add a few more elements so what I have here are some little really pretty colours of beads of these nice little this one's kind of white and this one's kind of glassy looking beads. And what I'm going to do to give this more of a shattered glass effect is I'm going to take the beads and I've lost my hammer so I'm going to use the handle of this um, screwdriver. And I'm just going to smash up. Now I want them all well and truly crushed. They really give a really nice shattered glass effect without having any shattered glass. Good way to get out your aggression. Obviously make sure you protect your surface when you do this. This is a really great way to customise the colour as well by using some beads with the colour that you want to use. So there, it's beginning to look really quite a lot more interesting now with those beads in. Next what I'm going to include is this, and all it is is this Sparkle Mod Podge that I put on um, a non-stick surface and let dry. Now this sort of stuff obviously isn't in the art glass but I'm just adding more things into it to give it a more diverse a more interesting look I'm just gonna again cut these into teeny tiny pieces so that you don't know that they are actually just pieces of glue 
they're just something to give it a bit of sparkle, something more reflective again. Just look for any reflective elements that you have or that you can create. It really gives it a sparkly. Really gives it kind of a sparkly kind of look. Be jazzled! Now it is Christmas, so just have a look around um, your Christmas decorations if you have any tinsel or anything. Remember, we're looking for reflective surfaces. And what I have here is some lametta. And this is only like half a strip. But let me show you in teeny tiny pieces. This again looks like it could be a mirror. Looks like it could be mirror. So again, I'm going to cut up this like one half a strip is enough for this. You obviously put in as much of each of these as what you want. Actually, each of them individually. Like if you just did a whole pot of broken beads or a whole pot of sparkling Mod Podge or glitter glue or a whole pot of just um, cut up plastic packaging. It, it does look really nice just on its own. You don't have to add all of these elements together. I just really like a lot of variety. I think I may give a warning at the beginning of this video. It is the messiest project I'm going to give you for a while. There's so many little bits. That's what our glass is. And I think this Lametta stuff is just exactly the same stuff as what tinsel is made out of, just in long strips. So if all you have is tinsel, just cut a few sprigs off, you'll hardly even notice. So that's what we've got so far, lovely and sparkly. Now what I like to add, you don't have to do this step, but what I do like to add and what is in art glass that really makes it pop is microbeads. Um, now I got these in different sizes and colours off of Etsy and Etsy Seller um, or you can get them from craft stores but then I just add a few in of each of these and it really, it's what makes art glass really look beautiful. And if you don't get any other if you just want to buy like one lot of art glass, then what I would say is get in the clear because it just looks stunning on your projects and you can put it in any colour you want to make. So just go for some clear if you don't want to go for any other colour. So there we have it, our homemade art glass. I wish you could see how beautiful this is in real life. Um, you do need to mix it up before you use it because the smaller, like I've got some really, really tiny, these are ridiculously small micro beads here, and they inevitably sink to the bottom out of all of our chunks of plastic and things. But it's really beautiful stuff to play with. So I have this ornament that's ripped, and I'm going to now jazz it up with a bit of art glass.